Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Well YouTube channel. I have I hope everybody is having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, I hope you're manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it is surely coming to you guys. Alright, yeah, so getting started and getting right into it, you guys. For today's vlog, uh, we're gonna start off. First off, I gotta apologize. I'm a little late, I'm a week behind on it, but um, as I stated in my previous vlog, I'm trying to work on getting my green screen effects in the background, you know, just right for you guys. And so it's been taking me a little longer than expected. And so I still have to give you guys, you know, this vlog with my background and my being in my room. And uh, as well as I'm waiting on my microphones to come in. So um, be on the lookout, you guys, still. But in essence, this vlog is going to be uh, in dedication to September being Suicide Prevention Month. Um, like I said, I was originally supposed to drop it last week, but things happened. So here it is today for you guys. Um, we're going to be talking about, you know, uh, being the month of September is suicide prevention. So just talking with you guys, you know, offering words of encouragement, um, educational facts, as well as my personal testimony in regards to, you know, suicide prevention and, you know, doing what I have to do to keep my mental health in check in order for me to not go off the deep end. And so uh, this vlog is going to be dedicated to those who, you know, have thought about it, that's going through that thought, and who are no longer here because of, you know, taking their lives due to suicide. And so um, starting off, uh, let's give you guys with some facts that I found. Uh, according to my sources, CDC, uh, in 2022, they found that in 2020, 46,000 people in the U.S. Uh, successfully commit suicide uh, and breaking it down a little bit more than minutes of one uh, and every 11 minutes one suicide death occurred uh, that year as well as I found that the top people who are affected or more prone to having suicidal thoughts or attempting suicide are these uh, specific groups including uh, people of color, uh, teenagers, people of LGBTQ community, uh, as well as people who are going through mental anger such as depression or have a history of mental psychological issues. Uh, and so right off the bat, I already fall into two of those categories. And so um, uh, as well as 12.2 uh, million people uh, from, um, excuse me, have considered uh, going along with suicide as opposed to 3.2 have planned out suicide and then 1.2 million have successfully or attempted to uh, commit suicide. Uh, you can get your information or find this information available on the cdc.com uh, or .org, I'm not sure <laughs> the, the tagline, but check it out for your own. Again, always make sure you do your own research, your own homework and find what works best for you guys. Uh, this is just what I have found as well as the suicide rate has increased 30% uh, from 20 to 2000 to 2018. It has gone up by 30%, unfortunately. Um, but, but luckily, uh, doing my research, I found that there are some, you know, resources or uh, preventative ways, uh, measurements that one can take to help prevent uh, suicide attempts and suicidal thoughts. And so I'll give you guys a little bit of that later on. Um, getting a little bit more personal with it. Um, like I said in previous uh, vlogs, I've been open, I've been open book with you guys about my mental health and where I'm at with it. Um, mourning this 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 year, I'm, I'm, I consider it the year of mourning, uh, mourning the loss of my mother and not only her, four of the people that passed away uh, in 2021 that I knew and was related to, and so. Uh, just dealing with, you know, deaths and their anniversaries coming up and then their birthdays back to back. Uh, my grandfather's birthday was just uh, September the 2nd, as well as uh, my other grandpa. His birthday is coming up as well. Uh, and then my, my, I have three grandpas, you know, self grandfather. They're all born in September. So two birthdays for them just passed. And so rest in peace, Papa, uh, Casey and Papa, or my Billy Goat. And then Papa Henry, his birthday is uh, September 20th, and they're no longer here with me. Two of them passed last year, and so this will be their second birthday that they're celebrating that they're not here. Um, my mother's birthday is next month, man, and I'm just really anxious and nervous and on edge because I just, I don't know how I'm going to react, how I'm going to feel. I do know one thing, I will need a plan of action. 
uh, that's going to help me, uh, you know, stay on track and not feeling, you know, like going off the deep end or being depressed. When I say what I mean was about, you know, going off the deep end, how it is for me, I don't want to say that I'm suicidal, having suicidal thoughts, but the way I feel about it is, you know, I don't like to question God. I know we shouldn't, but, you know, it's just a human us, and, you know, this is how I think about it at times, is, you know, why couldn't God take me with my mom? You know, why did she have to leave me behind? Why she couldn't take me with her? And, you know, I'm not saying I'm, I I want to take myself off the map, but some days I feel like, man, I just want to be with my mom. You know, wherever she's at, heaven or hell, I want to be there with her, man. But I know for me it's not my time. I still have a lot of work left here on this earth to get done, as well as my nephew need me, and I know that I have people that love and care for me. And if I do that, that's going to hurt them. That's a lot of the times when people think about suicide and contemplating those things. They don't think about the aftermath and the people that they hurt when they leave them behind. And so, you know, I always try to encourage and, 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 and put this message out there that it is okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talk with somebody, including a therapist, a family member, a friend, you know, picking up a hobby, uh, Doing whatever it is that you have to keep your mental health in check and, and keeping you from going off the deep end to where you're thinking of suicidal thoughts and, you know, taking yourself off the map. At the end of the day, not to downplay anybody's plight and misery and what they're going through, but just know that suicide is a permanent situation, solution to a temporary situation, man. There is no coming back from that. And so once you take that final step, that's it. And so before we get to that, you know, I try to always offer those encouraging words of just knowing that whatever you are going through, you will get through it. You just have to muster through it and find that courage. Even when you, 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 you feel that you can't, that's when you, you know, take that, that, that moment in time and just take back your power and say, hey, I'm in control of this ship. I decide you know, where to steer it and when it's time for it to go down. A lot of times we face that issue of suicidal thoughts because of what we're going through in our personal lives, you know, be it with our mental health, our physical health, our financial health, you know, dealing with relationship-wise or just our past in general. Um, it often, you know, thinking about have, leaving it unchecked and, you know, letting it manifest and grow for so long, it can eventually lead you down that road of suicide. So I encourage you guys that is listening to this and watching this video, that is just sharing this video, please, you know, do whatever it is that works best for you to get that, that gets your mental health in check. Um, right now I want to stop and um, share with you guys a little video that I found. Uh, I, I, like, I love looking at motivational videos, and so I want to share with you guys this video that I found that encourages and, 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 and reaches out to people who are feeling suicidal uh, and encourages them not to go off the deep end. So check this video out, you know, and once we come back, I'll give you guys a little bit more information on what's going on uh, with different well. So let's closing out this segment in regards to suicide prevention. So here it is. Check it out. I remember when my father asked me to stay stay up all night to watch fireflies. I didn't want to, but he was right. It was the most magical thing I'd seen. My mother asked me to stay. Stay patient until the chickens got here. I just wanted to pull them out of their eggs and play. I was so glad I waited. This kid I knew asked me to stay on his team. We lost the game, but he became my best friend. And when I became a teenager, everyone kept telling me to stay. Stay focused, stay out of trouble, stay faithful. And all I could think of was the stress. The pressure, the expectations, the things I used to be excited about now seem nothing like I'd imagined, pointless, heavy. And then people asked, how are you? 
And I said, fine. And people said, is there anything I can do for you? And I said, no. I tried to smile and hide my darkness. I remember waking up on my 17th birthday, wanting to end my life because I felt so much pain, because I, I felt nothing. So I decided to tell others how I feel, bring everything hidden into the light, because I knew one of them could help. I remember my dad holding me, my mom and my sister, now they ask me to stay around for another moment, for another agonizing week, month, even if I couldn't see that tomorrow will get better. And I realize that somewhere in between my new, dark existence and all those beautiful moments that I've experienced in the past, I forgot something. I didn't have to stay alone. The pain doesn't fully go away. It still takes many endless conversations. Therapy, prayers, medication. But as time goes on, I choose to stay hopeful. I choose to stay. To experience small, simple things I love. To see new places, meet new people. To discover who I am. To be surprised be loved. You can choose to stay too. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the, that video that I had shared with you guys, you know, offering you some words of encouragement and, you know, resources uh, for those who need it or may know somebody who may need it. Please share that with them, you guys. I thought this was an awesome clip, you know, the perfect message for those who are going through, you know, feeling suicidal or have a history of, you know, trying to, you know, take themselves off the map. Man, we just know that you matter. You, we need you here. And even though I don't know you personally, and I know y'all don't know me personally, I care about you guys. And so, um, if you ever needed that, man, just reach out to me. And y'all, y'all need somebody to talk to, I'm here. Uh, I know you guys, <laughs> I can't talk with y'all, you know, you know, written response with this videos, but I know some of you guys out there that's hearing me and understanding what I'm going through and know that, you know, you're not alone and I'm not alone and we're in this together and we will get through this together. Uh, with that being said, you guys, I found some more uh, information about how to uh, come up with ways or measurements for suicide prevention. Um, I'm not going to give you the whole list, but I found some uh, little measurements. Uh, one is to, you know, strengthen, you know, economic support. Um, I don't know why they submitted that or suggested that, you know, because not a lot of people just, you know, depending on their situation and what they're in, you know, a lot of people who go through, you know, suicidal thoughts or have those issues are, are they come up in poverty. So with uh, that one, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure, but it, it's one of the ways. Uh, let's see what else I found. You know, promote connectedness, you know, start peer norm groups, reaching out to others, you know, who are feeling the same that you are feeling, you know. What I found is, you know, best way to help yourself is by helping others. And so once you get out there and put yourself out there, you will see, you will attract the people to you that, that relate to you, you know. And so peer groups uh, promoting connectedness, uh, as well as teaching, you know, coping mechanisms and problem solving skills, you know, getting into classes that offer, you know, um, social and emotional support. Uh, those are some of the remedies that those can use as well as again you guys you know I'm giving y'all this information I would hope and encourage you guys to do your own research and find what works best for you this is not the only you know resources that you guys can use it's other things out there you know what I'm giving you may not work for you as opposed to what, what may work for me so again get out there do your own research and find what works best for you when it comes to keeping your mental health in check yeah 
Uh, but one thing we can't agree on is with this uh, next resources I'm going to offer you guys for anybody that may need it or uh, know somebody, please share this with them. For those who are feeling suicidal, have, you know, suicidal thoughts or depression or any type of mental anguish, man, you know, anxieties, bullying, again, just please know that it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. If you need to, call the crisis hotline at one 800 Two seven three eight two five five. I also found another number uh, for those who want a more direct. Nine eight eight is the crisis and suicide uh, hotline as well that you can try. You can also text seven four one seven four one for those who like to text instead of talk. You can use that one as well, or you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us. Or you can go to ncounseling.com. Again, that's for those who are outside of the U.S. It's spelled E-N-C-O-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. As well as for the teens who are feeling suicidal, that's also a big issue uh, in the suicide community. Uh, they make up a large population of teenagers. And so for the teenagers out there listening, especially those you know, youngins who are feeling you know, life is hopeless and they're helpless, you are not. You just have to find it. And you, you know, the strength that you have and the power that you possess to overcome any adversity that's thrown at you, okay? And so with that being said, the number that for those teens who may need it, um, and again, I'll put this uh, in my description, so um, don't worry about, you know, not catching it. It'll be in my description. So but the number for the teens to call is 1-800-682-6934. Again, that's 1-800-682-6934. Or you can go to EmpowerMyTeen.com. Again, that's EmpowerMyTeen.com. Uh, for the teenagers out there who, you know, are feeling, you know, suicidal or having those thoughts, um, just, again, know that it is okay to not be okay, but do not sit there and not be okay. You know, whatever you went through in life, even as a child, it may or may not have been your fault. It was out of your control, but as an adult, Please understand that it is on you to deal with. It's your problem to fix no matter what. And if you know that you have a problem and you don't want to fix it, then it is your fault. And so if you know that, you know, hey, you have these thoughts and hey, you have these issues that you need to fix, do what it is that you have to or try to find that strength. I know it's hard. It's easy said than done. Believe me, I know. But try, try. Nothing beats a failure but a try. So try to try, find that strength within you. To, and that gives you that courage you need to face your fears and your demons and, and, and do whatever it is that you need, even if it means getting on medication. You know, when I first entered foster care, you know, they dug me as, you know, clinically depressed and uh, uh, behavioral issues and they wanted to dump me on medication. You know, how I felt about it in the beginning is still how I feel about it now. But as I said before, what may work for some people may not work for others. So for those who may need, you know, medication, don't feel ashamed about it, man. If that is what, what helps and works for you, then do that, you know. And that's nobody's business, you know. You don't have to tell people that you're on, you know, psychological medication to help you from going off the deep end, you know. Nobody has to know that, but just know that that's an option for you if that's what needs to be done, okay. So uh, closing out Suicide Prevention uh, Month vlog, I want you guys again to know that you matter and you, we, we need you here on the circuit. You have lots of work to do. You are not finished yet. And so find that strength and that courage that you have instilled in you to do what you have to do to free yourself from that mental bondage. And know that it is okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay, man. Go get help, whatever that may be for you guys, okay? So moving on from that and close out of that, you guys, uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video. It's definitely sharing it with others and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting, as well as for those who are going to my website and checking me out, as well as with my book, you know, I, I, my book that I have available, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, excuse me. Here it is right here, you guys. Make sure you go to my website and get my book. What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, again, a book that's written to encourage thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And it's intended for a mature audience, you guys. So if you can't take this type of heat, then do not bother coming to this kitchen. But if so, head on over to differencesworld.net and get your copy. Yeah? Okay.
Uh, what else we got going on, you guys? So I just dropped uh, my Jurassic Quest video. I know I stated that in that video I was going to drop uh, my vlog for Confessions of a Former Foster Kid, but I wanted to get this out uh, first, the Suicide Prevention Month, as well as uh, September, you know, is the month of 9-11, so the next vlog I will be dropping is my 9-11 uh, vlog. Can you believe it's already been 21 years? since uh, the towers in New York were attacked and so I'll be giving my video on that you guys uh, so stay on the lookout with that and uh, what else we got going on yet yeah, just just keep coming to Difference World and come and learn what's going on in my world you guys I do appreciate it and so with that being said you guys whatever it is in life that you believe in you're destined for you have to manifest plan and prepare for it and then it will surely come to you guys Difference World come and learn peace Whatever, you know. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration. What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.